Hey guys, today I'm here to talk to you about a brand called Yes to Carrots. I was contacted by them to try a few of their products and what I got was a lot more than that. I probably have about 20 products here. I got sent in the mail all for free, so I wanted to give them each a try and let you know how I liked and what I didn't like about each product. I do a lot of reviews on my blog, but I wanted to do a video today so I could really show you what the products look like. So here we go. First, I wanna talk about the actual brand and company. Yes2 was formed about five years ago. It's only been on the shelves for that amount of time and they've done so much in that time. They've gotten recognized by Mary Claire, Star of People, Women's Health, Allure Magazines, the list goes on and on. They've gotten tons of awards. There's been a huge buzz about them and I can see why. It's based on using organic ingredients, all based from fruits and vegetables. I'll make sure to list everything below. They provide a great chart on their website of what exactly is in every single product. Ninety-five percent of their ingredients are all natural. Their packaging is adorable, um, practical, and recyclable, which is very important. And they also go back to their community through their Yes to Seed Fund, which I'll post more information about below. Okay, so a great place to start is with the actual Yes to Carrots line. Some of the products I got, let's start with the makeup removing cleanser. It's a bottle just like this. It has a pump and normally I use face wipes to wash my face. Um, before I wash my face, I do a quick wipe. I wear mascara and eyeliner so I always have to take the extra step beforehand to make sure I get everything off. Um, but I actually really enjoyed this product. The first time I used it I wasn't too sure but I gave it another chance and um, I really liked it. So. Good job on that, yes. Another thing I got was the exfoliating cleanser. I'm trying to make it so it's not fuzzy. The reflection's awful. I like exfoliating cleansers. I used to use that apricot scrub I think we all grew up with in the shower from St. Ives. I don't want to compare that to this. This is a lot more um, natural feeling. You don't feel any chemicals. What I really like about this brand is that you actually feel like you are using fruits and vegetables. I always say it, but I don't promote products that I don't believe in, and I absolutely fall in love with this brand. So back to this actual product. I have to say it's probably not my favorite cleanser they sent me, just because I feel like when I'm done I still have a little bit of residue. The carrots is nourishing. That's what this line does for your skin, so maybe that's what that is. It has a little bit of extra moisture in it. I do like the product and I would recommend buying it, but it's not my favorite, so let's move on. Here is another pore scrub facial cleanser. It's actually from the Tomatoes line. It's a little scratched up because I've had it in my shower since they've sent it to me. Um, I've used it every single night when I take a shower, so it's a little used. It's almost gone actually. So. I've had a lot of experience with this one. I do like the Tomatoes brand. There isn't, within the five, um, there isn't one that I don't like, so let's get that straight. But I do have to say the Tomatoes is probably my least favorite, and I'll get into the other ones in a little bit, but this one is for acne. You can see Yes2 Clear Skin. They each have their little sub-brand, so if you need to clear up your skin, if that's your focus, when you wanna maintain your skincare regime, then this would be the brand that you try is for clear skin, would be the tomato. My main focus is to keep everything anti-aging and to keep it hydrated, so I prefer the other brands, but this is not by any means a bad product. I do feel like out of all of the facial cleansers, this is the most um, scrubby, if that makes sense. Kind of like sandpaper, but not as harsh. Okay, moving on is to the grapefruit line. And this is actually how they contacted me is to promote the new line that's just rolling out. And it's to correct and repair. I had no idea, but there's so many things in this fruit that is good for your skin. One of my favorite products I have to say is the Dark Spot Correcting Serum. By the way, I love the packaging of all of these products. I think it's adorable and easy to take with you if you're traveling. The caps are easy to take off. They all have little pumps. And I'm just gonna show a close up of what it looks like. But I like this grapefruit line. It's like. I I said it's to correct and repair so the main focus of this one is to cover the dark spots 
spots and even out your skin. Same line, different product. This is the Body Cream Correct and Repair, and I've been using it for at least a week now, so it's hard to notice anything in just a week, but it's a pretty thick <laughs> lotion. Since moving up north, I've been addicted to paraffin lotion. I've been using all different types of brands, and this is actually a great one and it's not just for your hands it's for your whole body but I do like that it's thick but it doesn't feel like clammy I do like this product the same line the grapefruit this is a correct and repair even tone moisturizer so this is a little different than the serum I showed earlier after I wash my face I have been using the serum to even everything out and then I've been using this as a moisturizer same thing it's a pump not too thick it has a thin layer I really like that this one in particular, Correct and Repair, has the SPF and it's hard to zoom on so you can actually see it, but that is what I've been looking for in moisturizers since I started using it is the actual sun protection. So this is probably my favorite skin tone moisturizer that they sent me. One thing I didn't mention about the Yes to Carrots Nourishing brand is another cream they sent me. This is their Rich Moisture Day Cream, and I'll post a list of all the products they sent me so you can see a little more detail. But this is designed to go on your face and neck, and I just want to take a second to highlight some of their advertising. I think it's super cute, like I said, how they package things, and again, everything's recyclable, on board with that. But part of the directions, I'll just read a quick one. It says, apply each morning to a clean face and neck now that you're hydrated. Get your coffee and get going. I think that's adorable. Next line, yes to blueberries. Love, love, love this line. Um, I think it's refreshing. The actual sub brand is called Age Refresh, so that's no surprise there. I have to say, I was a little hesitant when trying the cleansing facial towelettes. Like I said, I wear my eyeliner and mascara every day. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna be strong enough, just made from the ingredients that they list to take all of my makeup off. But I really, really liked it. It was really refreshing. It took all of my makeup off, probably even a little better than the pump. Yes to carrots. Uh, like I said, I love the wipes. So it's gonna be hard to break wipes from my hands, but I really, really, like this one, good job. And then same line, I have another moisturizer. This is the Age Refresh Daily Repairing Moisturizer. Pretty similar to the grapefruit one I showed earlier. This, however, is missing the SPF, so between the two I would pick the grapefruit, but I think that it's also great. Okay, moving right along is my favorite of all of the brands, like I said, there isn't one I don't like. I really enjoy all these products. I think each one has different things to offer, but I think this cucumber line is the one that resembles mostly like a spa experience. Cooling, calming, soothing. That's the sub brand is soothing. So probably my favorite is the cucumbers. I do like the daily gel cleanser they sent me. Like I said, I use wipes, so I would be doing a wipe first, and then at night, I did enjoy the soothing cucumber gel. And it's not foamy. This gel is very thin, actually, like a thin layer you would put on and wash off, but there you go. Okay, so another product is the Night Calming Cream. This is probably, I have so many favorites. This is a favorite of mine, for sure. Yes to sensitive skin, soothing, night calming cream. It's basically like a nighttime moisturizer, so you don't necessarily have to have the SPF and everything you do in the morning. But I love this. Like I said, cucumber is very soothing. My favorite flavor, right here. Yes. Wrapping it up is two things I was actually very hesitant about. I know this brand is about organic skin and hair care, but for some reason, I just picture it being better on the skin, not as good on the hair. But I do have to say, I did try the shampoo and conditioner. This is a cucumber line, so you know I'm a fan of the smell. I do have to say this though, the shampoo, I think, I used it a few nights um, recently, and I do have to say that it doesn't get very foamy, so I was kind of missing, I was kind of waiting for it to foam up. Wasn't sure how clean it was getting my hair, but I mean, 
That's the shampoo, the conditioner, however, I loved. Right away, I could feel a hydration. And side note, I do like that it has color protection in it because I color my hair. So I always look for a shampoo and conditioner that has that in part of the description. I'm gonna continue using them. And like I said, the conditioner was a lot more of a win than the shampoo for me. This is, again, besides the cucumber, this is probably my favorite thing, leave-in conditioner. And again, I was skeptical about the hair care, but it has argan oil for deep softening and shine. It has keratin in it. And if you go to a salon to get your hair done, you've probably heard the rage about keratin treatments, getting that extra moisture locked in, and this has it in it. So I was excited to read about that. Basically use this two to three times a week unless you style your hair a lot, which I do. So I try to use it three to four times a week. And this, I mean, it has made my hair so much smoother and I really, really, really like this product. So the final thing I'm gonna talk about is, I have to move my products because there's so many here, is the lip balm and lip butter. So I got sent two lip butters. Funny story, this is the berry and then I also have a melon. However, my husband took the melon flavor with him. So he has actually been enjoying these products as well. Don't think it's just for women. I do like the chapstick. I use it, like I said, I moved up north, so I use chapstick religiously. The melon flavor, I'll post a picture of it, but it's yellow and he keeps getting it confused with his Burt's Bees chapstick. And that has been my favorite for a few years now. So compliments goes to that if he's comparing it. Good job. And the last thing are color balms. And these are actually a type of chapstick that's colored. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but it just has a little bit of a tint there. It comes in all different colors. I got sent the Soft Plum, the Rosy Bloom, and the Peachy Keen, which is probably my favorite. I always love a peach lip. And it's nothing dramatic. It's just a little bit something extra, but these are all packed. Every product's packed with vitamins. These have a lot of vitamin E, which I appreciate to help with cracked lips. Final thoughts. Obviously, I have a lot of good things to say about this brand. Just after a few weeks of trying their products, I can definitely consider myself a yes to user and will probably buy the products on my own once all of my supply runs out here. Like I said, I love all of the brands. My favorite overall is probably the Cucumber um, just for the smell, the soothing line. Second, right behind that is the blueberries. Love that smell. Love the grapefruit. Uh, carrots, this is my favorite product. Overall, carrots was not my favorite. But, like I said, there isn't anything that I wouldn't use when given to me in these lines. Overall, good job. I hope that you guys have interest in this brand because I think they're doing some great things. If you're interested in purchasing some on your own, they are sold in big retail stores, small stores, Target, Walgreens, CVS, Whole Foods. I'll put up a list of all their locations of where you can buy their products. Of course, you can buy them online. And then also, I am offering you from them a 25% discount by using the coupon code I post below. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching my review. If you have any questions or comments, as always, they're welcome. Thank you to the Yes2 team for all of the wonderful product and thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your week.